Hello and welcome to the third part of our tutorial series about building a giant water rocket. In the first two parts we've prepared the individual segments of the rocket, as well as the nozzle and the launch pad. Now comes the time when we will pressure test the individual parts and then assemble the pressure vessel. After the adhesive used for your pressure vessel segments is cured for at least 48 hours, the tape strips can be removed from the tank and you can perform the pressure testing. For this purpose, the segment should almost completely filled with water. Screw the nozzle onto one side of the segment and on the other end a bottle cap. The test should always be performed outdoors behind a barrier, so that in the event of an explosion no one gets hurt. Once you are ready, you can start increasing the air pressure using the hose system of your rocket launcher. We currently test our segments to under 30 psi. An optional Gardena regulator valve allows the pressure to be released after a successful test, but you can also use your tire valve for this purpose. If all your segments and the nozzle have passed the pressure test, you can begin the next step. The individual segments are connected using connectors called tornado tubes. A link to all the disc tubes can be found in the video description. The nozzle is screwed onto the lower end of the large pressure vessel. For the top we use a simple bottle. The bottom of this bottle should be slightly narrowed in hot water, so that later the parachute system will fit over the narrow part. We now create fairings, which cover the space between the rocket segments to eliminate unnecessary air turbulence. Each of the three fairings consists of two bottles, of which one is shrinked in hot water. If you want, you can paint your rocket with spray paint. The only thing missing now are the fins of the rocket. You can cut your fins from plastic or wooden sheets using a sharp utility knife and secure them to the rocket using hot glue and duct tape. For our fins, we use plastic sheets from Gutiglis. That's it! In the next part you will learn how you can build a parachute deployment mechanism for your water rocket. We hope you enjoyed the video! Don't forget to check out US Water Rockets, they helped us with the English version of this tutorial. We'll see you next time!